Hey guys, it's Patrick Starr. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not a makeup tutorial. It is not a makeup transformation. and It's not a monthly review. It is my Cinderella story. I took my mom to Cinderella to watch it yesterday and I thought I wasn't going to like it because I'm so used to like the Disney cinematography and, and everything. It wasn't, I don't know, the, pre, the, the trailer didn't make me love it but then I was like you know what um I had heard reviews and Manny said it was really good so I was like you know what I'm gonna go and then my mom um you know she had a free day so I was like you know what we'll we'll do a mom and Sunday and then I just took her out we went to lunch went to dinner we went to watch Cinderella and it was really really fun so it inspired me to talk about my Cinderella story oh these lights are so hot Oh, is that sweat? The movie inspired me to do a Cinderella story of my own. For those of you that don't know, I am a boy. This channel is called Patrick Star. And um, this is not, my channel is not called Makeup Tutorials. It is called Patrick Star. And with my channel, I want you guys to get to know not just my makeup artistry or my makeup techniques, but also me as a person, as an artist and um, maybe it'll give you a little bit of insight to do this video. I am very nervous making this video because, um, I don't know. By the way, I have like a You Now um, show that I do weekly every time because, you know, I get dolled up for YouTube or to go out, but sometimes I don't really have time to go out and like party or go out with friends with my makeup. So I was like, you know what? If I want to show off my my get dolled um, look, I'll just take it online. So that's what I've been doing. If you guys follow me on Twitter at underscore Patrick Star underscore, you guys can see when I have my live shows. And I'm going to have a live show right after this. But um, I thought it's a fun, I think it's a fun way to interact with my subscribers and talk with you guys in a chat room. But anyways, I had talked, I had told this story to my last You Now show and there was only six people but everyone was like oh my god like tell us about your first time you wore makeup tell about um tell about your first time your parents saw you wear makeup and I was like okay so then it just turned into like this long story and they were like you should take it to YouTube and I was like you know what why not I'll take it to YouTube and here I am with my Cinderella story okay so the first time I ever wore makeup am I feeling my arms too much okay anyways the first time I ever wore makeup, um, I think it was in like 2010, I had bought like some foundation from the drugstore. I think it was like Revlon Color Stay, and that's what I stuck with because I did so much research on like what to get. And then I had just started wearing it, I think I was like 19. I was like the last of my teen years, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy makeup, I'm going to wear it. And I was in drama, like in high school. I was in Cats, and we had to wear makeup on stage. So that's when I started wearing makeup was in high school. And then when it was theater. So then fast forward to like my makeup journey. So this is like the official start of my makeup journey. I hope the story isn't boring to you because this is just my journey, and I just want to tell you guys. But anyways, I had applied at a makeup department location here in Orlando, Florida. And I didn't get it, and I applied in 2000. 2000, blah, 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 2011 and then I didn't get it I put in the summer and then I was like you know what for those of you guys that don't know I was a photographer so I was taking pictures and then I started adding makeup to my photography and makeup and hair so that's how I got started I never went to cosmetology school I'm all self-taught so I would photoshop um, makeup on the computer and then I applied what I learned on photoshop into real life and it saved me a lot of time editing and then later on I started to do weddings and then I went into this store and then I was like, hey, um, I need a lipstick for my bride because, you know, I wasn't working at a physical makeup store. And then I was approached by one of the associates and they were like, hey, do you want to work here? And I was like, oh, my God, yes. And that girl changed my life. And, and next thing you know, I started working there. And this was in 2011. And I started working there like the day before Thanksgiving. And I have always wanted to work at this location. And I have always wanted to like be fully involved with makeup and with people because I knew right after I graduated high school I knew that I wanted to work with people with people with people with people I have to interact with people I have to feed off energy with people so that's why doing YouTube for me is a little bit hard because literally I have lights a camera and just me it's me myself and I and it's so hard to do YouTube but after I'm gonna sidetrack a little bit after BeautyCon Dallas that's when I really appreciated 
what I do and you know this this whole thing right here called YouTube but anyways um so I had applied at the makeup counter and I was so excited and then I had worked there I only wear foundation I wore um some brow powder some mascara by covergirl and blush and like an elf bronzer and that's all that I wore for the first week and then okay so this is a time that I went full blown into makeup so it was like the the sixth day of me working there it was a theme day and they have theme days at this place and so we can push new products and new makeup trends and I was like you know what cool like I'm gonna go all out and it was a theme day so it was I, I remember it was like a time period theme day and I was the new kid at, at that location and they were like oh my god like I'm gonna do Cleopatra I'm gonna do Audrey Hepburn and I was like I'm a boy like what do I do and they were like you should do one of the girls was like you should do Jeffree Star and I was like oh okay cool like who's Jeffree Star and they were like you don't know Jeffree Star and I'm like no so we looked him up and of course Jeffree Star pink hair pink brows blue cut crease candy yum yum and I was like oh my god that's so cool so that was the Friday like a week after Thanksgiving and then it was Saturday was when the theme day was. And this was my sixth shift ever working. So on Friday night, I had practice, practice, practice. I had put pink in my brows like Jeffree Star. I had blue cut crease like Jeffree Star. I had pink blush. I had pale skin. And I had pink, pink, pink Jeffree Star inspired. And I wore like a cute little beanie. And then I took it off. I practiced it. I, well, I practiced it on Friday. And then I wore it again on Saturday. And mind you, my mom, she's off. And then she's like downstairs like ironing clothes or something. And then... I was like, oh my god, she's never seen me with this much makeup. I want to go to work and I want to impress these girls, like, what I can do. And so, I went downstairs and my mom was like, oh, where are you going? And I was like, I'm going to work, bye. So I like, rush out the door. She didn't say anything, she couldn't stop me, because I, you know, I have to make work, you know, money's work, work is money. So I had to go make my coin. And then I went to work, and I was so nervous, because I was like, oh my god, this is the time to impress. Like, I know I can do makeup. And so I went in, and then it wasn't even half an hour before they told me to wipe off my makeup. And I remember that day, oh my god, I'm getting emotional, like it's crazy. Um, woo! Like they told me to, to wipe off my makeup, but I never felt so embarrassed in my life. Like, I thought I had been finally accepted in, into the makeup artistry and that, you know, they asked me to wipe up my makeup and I, and it was, it was, it wasn't, I couldn't go back to the back office I, I, to wipe it off. I wiped it off in front of all these customers and everything. And I apologized so much and I was like, I'm so sorry. You're, the other artist told me that it was okay to wear this. And they said, you know what, stick to boy makeup, just really clean, really fresh. And I was like, that's fine. That's, that's completely fine. And then I, I just wore the boy makeup for the rest of 2011 and then 2012 I started working at another um, makeup location and I was more expressive there because that was the girl the girl that had asked me if I wanted to work there that got me the job she started experimenting with makeup we started playing with makeup and I felt like it was okay to do makeup at this this location and then, um, fast forward, so I worked there 2012, 2013, and it was really good. And then there were, there were times at that location where management would say, hey, your makeup is too much, you need to calm down, like, enough. And I was like, okay, what well, this company stands for, diversity and uniqueness, nerve and talent. And I wasn't able to express myself. It wasn't until one day I remember that a customer had came in and I had worn like a lipstick similar to this. And um, she was like, um, she asked the manager next to me and she was like, what is he wearing? And I was like, bitch, ask me, ask me. And um, I had never felt so proud because I was like, she wants to know what I'm wearing so you can sell it. And um, I never felt so much more um, powerful that day when that one person empowered me that, hey, you look good wearing it. And my whole platform as Patrick Star, my whole platform as Patrick Star is that I am a boy that wears makeup and if I can do it, you can do it too. And this, I have, I have kept this with me ever since I started working at this location or even started doing makeup. If I can look somewhat decent wearing makeup, you can too. Like, it's okay. The makeup comes off. You will learn. You will live. Like, it, 
is not hurting you at all by any means. It's just makeup. And so fast forward, um, I had met this girl, um, Viva Glam K on Instagram. She's a very popular Instagrammer. She's beautiful and she had just um, applied and she got the job and we became the best of friends. And then we had a $20 makeup class in Orlando. And then um, when it was the end of 2013, I told her, I was like, 2014, let's do something. And I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. And I remember in Cinderella, like I was writing to my head, the quote that she was, that her mom told her was like, have courage and be kind, have courage. And I was like, looking back at my older self and I was like, Patrick, have courage and be kind. And I was like, yes, like that's so cool. So I told Viva Glam K, I said, let's take our class and let's take it to New York. I'm from Queens. She was from Brooklyn. And I was like, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So we took our class to February of 2014 to New York. And we only had 20, 20 seats and in our class available. But then we decided to open up the seats. So the week that we landed, we got 10 more seats, additional on top of 20. And then we had two days before we got, we sold another 10. And in our class, we had 40 seats. And that was so liberating to see that people wanted to come and see myself and Viva Glam K teach a makeup class. And that was when it kind of started. And a couple months later was IMAX New York. This is last year, 2014. So in April, um, Kehlani, Viva Clem K, her name was Kehlani. Um, Kehlani and I, we were like, let's go to IMAX New York. So we went to New York. We like, we bought a plane ticket. We had like a little rinky dinky like meet and greet at New York's IMAX at this booth. And right next to my booth was Morphe Brushes. And working there was Jeffree Star. And I was like, wow. That's the guy whose makeup that I did on the sixth day of working at Mac. And so I was, I think I was an adrenaline and then there were like some people saying hi to me and then I had seen him and I was like, I yelled at him. I was like, bitch, we need a picture. So then I had, um, by the way, my, my picture, if you, if you, if you guys follow me on Instagram, that picture of me recreating that look when I worked at that, that location, that makeup store that I used to work at is still on my Instagram like 200 weeks ago. If you guys scroll all the way down, the reason why I don't delete pictures is that so you guys can see my growth, see my journey, and come with me from the beginning. From my first journey from Instagram to YouTube to Twitter and, and so on and so forth. And so I saw him and I was like, wow, that's him. And then so five minutes later, I like go back to my booth and he grabs me by the, he grabs me by the arm and he's like, bitch, let's get a picture now. And I about died. And I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. He's like, okay, bye, bitch. And I was like, bye. And so we had taken the picture. He had posted it the next day. He said he, I remember the caption. It was my default picture for so long. And it said, when stars collide. And I was like, wow, this is so full circle for me. That the guy that I was makeup that inspired me that I was told to, to wipe off is now wanting a picture with me and then you know it just it just brought back so many memories like Patrick wear boy makeup be a boy like don't wear makeup like and I was like you know what I have courage and I'm gonna be kind and then fast forward to the summer I had been still working at this um makeup place and I was like, you know what? I had saved money from my class that I had done in New York. And I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to save it and I'm going to go to L.A. And my goals when it was 2014, when the clock hit midnight, I was like, you know what? Just like Cinderella! Oh my God! Okay, okay. When the clock hit midnight um, for to ring in the new year for 2014, I shut my eyes and I prayed. I said, please, God, like... I want to go to New York, I want to go to Atlanta, I want to go to LA, and I want to see the world, I want to touch a lot of people, because I felt so confined working in this mall. And it wasn't enough for me. I wanted to reach more people, I wanted to do makeup on more people, and ironically I'm here on YouTube now. But um, So fast forward, I had saved my money and I had asked my girlfriend, I was like, hey, like, should I, the, one, the same one that hired me, she was still working, and I was like, hey. I said, should I go to L.A.? She was like, yes, do it. You have all this money. Like, go not all this money. I was like, bro. But I had enough money, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to L.A. So I went to L.A., 
And then my old coworker had already lived in LA and I stayed with him. And then I went for the event Fame Expo. This is in June of 2014, last year. And when I went there, I had never seen so many Instagram YouTubers and it's LA. It's, it's like there's so many people and I was like, wow. And I remember walking into Fame. I had bought my ticket to Fame and I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. Like I wore my, my makeup. I had met up with my friend Jenny69 um, and I had went with my, with my friends that, you know, that had moved from Orlando. We had went there and... It was so surreal. And also, if you guys are still watching this, this long, long ass story, that is where I met Manny. And we, like, it was on the second day, no, 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 the first day of Fame Expo. I was crossing the street with my turban down and I hear this bitch yell, Patrick Star! And I was like, oh my God, who the fuck is this kid? And it was Manny. And, um, now we're best friends and we just went to beauty con Dallas together it's just been so full circle for me so at fame i remember i walked into fame and this girl she tapped me on the shoulder and i was watching jenny she was getting her hair done i i had looked turned around and it's crispy crispy from youtube like it's crazy she was with desi and she's like oh my god i remember i remember i remember i like fell to my knees and she was like i was on the phone with my mom and i told my mom hold on patrick star is here and i was like ah! And that was when I met Crispy, I had met Desi, um, I had met Mac Daddy, and then there was just events going on with fame, and it was just so surreal for me, meeting those YouTubers that I have, have admired for so long, and now that we're friends and we've connected in person um, further than online, it's just been completely amazing. And I had saw Anastasia Beverly Hills, like, that was, like, the queen B of like brows, queen brows, you know, and I see, I saw her and I was like, oh my god, that's Anastasia and Norvina and I had gone back to LA a couple more times and my life just started to just develop more and more. I've made connections and my YouTube started to grow and it's simply ultimately crazy it's inspirational like it's been so fast although it's been a year it's been so fast for me because I thought I was going to be stuck stuck doing makeup forever um in this mall and I was like wow you know if I had not taken that leap of faith and been kind I wouldn't be where I am today fast forward I had developed a relationship with um Norvina aka Claudia the president of Anastasia Beverly Hills and she had asked me to do a project with her and a couple other friends. Next thing you know, we're here in a big ass studio and I'm in full drag and I am walking down the runway next to Anastasia Beverly Hills, Nervina, Claudia, Alex Faction, and Manny. And these are all relationships that I've made from taking that leap of faith, being kind, and having courage. And that was so surreal for me. I had like five wigs on, I had like five lashes on, I had like a sequin dress on. And that ultimately, you guys, was so surreal for me because I, it, it, that day, I was like pinching myself and I was like, wow, that sixth day, two years prior, I was told to wipe off my makeup and be a boy. What they should have told me was to be myself. And um, it's it's been really hard to do that because you know I'm an older brother. I have two I have two two younger brothers. I have both my parents. They work so hard. My parents came from the Philippines to start this amazing life for me. And what I want to do is I want to give back to them. And I want to make them proud. And growing up as a boy and having this new YouTube job with makeup, I'm wearing nails, I'm wearing a scarf on my head, I'm wearing makeup. Like, it's not typical for, you know, the norm. But I wanted to show my parents that, like, hey, I can do it. I want to show my brothers, hey, I can do it. Like, I can work. This is, like, makeup, makeup artistry is a job. And, um, it's ultimately crazy, you guys. I hope this story was inspirational to you guys. It's my Cinderella story. I don't want to ramble on and on, but... Really quick, I want to thank um, one angel that started this whole YouTube channel for me, and her name is Talia, Talia Joy, and um, ooh, 
this is a bunch of emotions today. So, um, I had been friends with Talia through her friend Leah because we worked at the same makeup location and um, Talia would go into the store and then um, I developed a relationship with Talia and then when she had passed, my video was one of the last videos that she liked before she passed. So this is like a little quick fact, like um, tidbit that you guys may not know. That's how my channel got so popular was because of Talia and I feel like I owe her a thank you, thank you Talia so much. Um, because um, when she had passed, a bunch of people had shouted her out, giving her giving her channel condolences and just a lot of praise because she was such such an amazing person that all they saw on her feed was Talia Joy like Patrick Star's video. And that's my winged eyeliner and red lip video and I had gained like 20,000 subscribers in a matter of days. And now I'm here, I'm doing YouTube, I love it, and I love what I do. I'm very happy. Um, I've met amazing people, I have made best friends, I have made amazing relationships. And I just want to let you guys know that have courage, be kind, and life opens up when you do. You know, um, I'm going to go through all my little quotes and my mantras that I that I live by. When I opened up to life, like to L.A., to life, to New York, it opened up back. Because um, if I were to just rely on hearsay by what he said, what she said, and figure out what that person or what this this ordeal is like, I will never find out for myself. That's why I choose to open up. Because then if something opens up to me in a bad way, well damn right I'll know for myself that it's bad. And I know not to do that again. And also, be someone that makes you happy. Like surround yourself with, with, with people that are like-minded like you. I think being here where I was at, there were no other YouTubers, no other professional makeup artists that I truly wanted to be with. Like I was like, oh my god, I want, I, I want to learn from this person. I want to be with this person um, and, and learn from them. But do not be dependent on those people. That's the difference. Be someone that makes you happy, but surround yourself with good people. I've gotten so many messages on Facebook, on Twitter, even on Snapchat, um, on Instagram too. I get a ton of DMs and um, I just want to say I love you. I thank you for changing my life and this YouTube journey has been so surreal for me. I would have never, ever, ever expected, expected to be talking to a camera to 150,000 subscribers. Amen. 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 It's crazy. I thank you. I love you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.